So you just got your ROG Ally, and you install your first AAA game, then another, and another, then another after that. And suddenly you realize you're running low on space thinking to yourself, man, I think it's time for a new NVMe. Don't worry, I will teach you how to migrate from this drive to this drive using free cloning software, so keep on watching to find out how to do it. Hello guys and welcome to my NVMe upgrade and cloning tutorial. If you're looking for a free cloning software and upgrading to a larger storage, whether it be a 2230 or 2280 NVMe, this guide will cover you. Before we can begin this tutorial, you will need the following. A mouse and keyboard or all-in-one combo. A screwdriver with a CRV PH 0 bit. A razor blade to cut some plastic if you're upgrading to a 2280. An NVMe enclosure. A 2230 or 2280 NVMe. A flash drive or micro SD. A USB-C hub. And finally, a needle nose plier if you're upgrading to a 2280 drive. Most of these items will be in the description below. Once you have all these items, let's begin by creating our clone Azilla drive. In this portion of the tutorial, we will be covering how to create a bootable clone Zilla USB drive so that we can clone our Asus ROG Ally. First, let's download clone Zilla. Using Google, search download clone Zilla. Click on the first link. Select stable. Change zip to ISO and change repository to SourceForge and click download. Once your file is downloaded, open a new tab and search download Rufus. Select the first link. Scroll down and select the first link as well. Run the installer and click yes. Plug in your USB drive or micro SD, then on the right side, click select and select clone Azilla. Click start. Click OK. Click yes. And click OK again. Once it's done, open command prompt and run it in admin mode. Type in the following command and press enter when you're ready to start cloning. But make sure your power adapter, USB-C hub with power pass-through, and NVMe drive are connected. Don't forget the mouse and keyboard too. When you've booted to your BIOS, select Boot menu, then select the clone Azilla drive you just created. Just follow my lead from here on out. Press Enter. Press Enter again. And again. And again, select device to device. Select beginner, select disk to disk. Select your source drive. Select your destination. Select skip check, select K1. Select P. Press Enter. Press Y and Enter. Press Y and Enter again. You can't see on the screen, but the estimate is about 16 minutes. A few moments later. Once it's complete, shut off the device, and we can now begin opening it. This is the bit I recommend using for both the outside and inside. There are six screws in total, and I only removed three but loosen the rest as much as possible. These are the three screws I completely removed. You should be able to pry it open from the top now easily. Once inside, make sure to remove the two ribbon cables and battery. Now we need to remove four screws, two are on the edges of the battery, and two are on the fence.
This portion of the tutorial will now involve breaking off plastic and voiding your warranty. Now that we've made some clearance in our ROG Ally, let's look at this stock reference I borrowed from Jerry. Our goal here is to make clearance along the blue line. First, we'll twist off the red zone with a needle nose plier. Next, we'll have to peel the left gold sticker and the left Wi-Fi card to prevent any accidents. Be very careful, the adhesive on the Wi-Fi card is sticky, so take your time. Once you remove the gold sticker and Wi-Fi card, start clearing a path for it. You will have to shift it over to the yellow line, so start cutting with your razor blade. I'll now show you what it looks like after I broke off the plastic pieces. As you can see, I've obliterated the green area. I've also used a soldering iron, which I probably shouldn't have, but I like living life on the edge. Again, take your time with this. As you can see, I've shifted the Wi-Fi card as well to make room for the 2280 drive. I recommend you open a second browser to do a side-by-side -side comparison. With that being said, let's see if our clone was a success. Do as I say, not as I do. This here is a classic example. In this situation, just move the battery out of the way and plug it in like a normal person would. As you can see, the drive was successfully cloned. If you've noticed, the right analog stick has no RGB on. That's because I forgot to plug the ribbon cable. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.